today, Croft is going to show you how to train biceps properly. We're going to start with the weight in front of us, alternating biceps. Now we're going to do that five sets of ten. The reason why I want to do it alternating is because each time I bring it up, I can concentrate on each arm individually. If I'm doing it both at the same time, I can't give it the, 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 the attention it deserves. We're going to take a one minute break. This is how you train your biceps. None of this coming up. Don't come up. Keep it locked in this position. That's as high as you need to go. It's about stimulating the muscle, not about how much you can lift. That's a good way to hurt your back. Now I'll show you from the side view. If you do this, five sets of ten, this is really to stimulate them. And then I'll show you one final move after you do this five sets of ten. I call them crazy eights, because they're crazy. But you have to do more than eight. You have to do three sets of eight. We have just finished the alternating dumbbell curls. I don't know if you can tell, but they're getting a little swole. So now we're going to do the finisher move. I know what you're thinking. What about the outside of the biceps? We're gonna get those on our back day. Anything V-bar pulls, pull-ups, that's gonna hit the outside of the biceps, so there's no need to train them today. So our finisher is gonna be crazy eights. You could put your back up on a wall if you wanted to. We're gonna start up here and we're gonna go down halfway eight times. times one two three four five six seven eight now we're gonna do full eight reps one two three four five six Seven, eight. Oh, that's it. That really hurt. Do this for your biceps. Ugh. 